I think we are at least, what is it going to be, uh, 10 days since I've hived these Italian packages. I'm back in this yard, I'm dropping in comb to fill in the empty spots. Just checking to make sure all the queens have been released. And spot checking queen acceptance. I tell you one thing, I am extremely happy with these Italians. So I dropped a bunch of packages and six frame nukes, filled them right up. And I'm not really going through counting frames of brood, but I will here. I'm just spot checking for acceptance and any trouble, kind of reinforcing and dropping a new queen in just to try to salvage. But I think I'm only having one, two, three queens, one shakeout. Oh, it's hardly any. I've been, it's been a long day. Just going through and just seeing lush larvae like this frame here. This is corner to corner. There's a bit of a nectar flow coming in. And this is right full of mature larvae all the way out to eggs. It's absolutely beautiful. I love these little, I think they're buckfast queens. Oh, the stress of the day dropping these packages in. I wish I could see right now. Look at that. So this is a full frame of brood. Just starting to cap over. This is where she started. Just a lush nest. There she is there. Absolutely gorgeous queens. Look at that. Falling in love with these queens. Of course, they're laying two procedure cells, which is totally unfair for the queen right now. Typically you see that on packages because they, they've been through a lot. Ah, and they blame the queen. So I'm not going to go any further there. There's two more frames of bees here. Prob I bet you, that, well, let's see. Might be full of feed. They're bringing a nectar, pollen, there yeah, she's got eggs right where she could fit them in there. So I'm going to have to be pretty careful here. Um, I'm treating these sixes as my nukes. They are full, laying queen. We are anticipating a heavy flow anytime now. The crop isn't in bloom yet. We're still in the canola stages like one leaf, two leaf, three leaf at the most right now. We have some just emerging, some a little bit more advanced than that. But we have alfalfa in bloom. We have clover in bloom. We're just coming into bloom. So I better not be too nonchalant here because as soon as that flow starts, I'm going to have to start putting in longer hours, longer hours than I already have been to make sure I get... Well, these colonies aren't quite settled yet so first things first well the crops not even I gotta get past past the bugs spraying because I can't put these colonies out along field edge before they start spraying for bugs so I'm just gonna be a little bit oh forgot my patty just gonna be a bit patient here just gonna hold them as tight as I can gonna finish my queen checks putting in all these frames And we'll probably come through this coming weekend to cut two procedure cells down. Work, 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 work. Oh, has this ever put me in a good mood? Just full of freshly hatched eggs. I mean, lush, we got nectar flow coming in. There she is. Absolutely beautiful. These, I, you know, I might actually get Carrie to start painting our queen because they're so easy to find. 
The queens that we rear are a lot darker. They have more color to them, which I love. It's just, they're a lot harder to find. Like those ones just stand out. But there's another job to do. How many does she have here? This one's being capped, corner to corner. This side is lush and young. And right full of eggs. So she's not quite on this side. So Spitfire. I should be putting a frame of foundation in there. All day long, all day long. I was a little bit apprehensive bringing in stock that I'm not quite familiar with. And they haven't proven themselves yet. If they show me consistency, Absolute beautiful frames of brood like this. I think we're off to a good start. Right full, I mean, corner to corner. This is Mature, about to be capped. How much better do I want here? This is just absolutely, this frame is shining. There she is. That queen is shining. I'm gonna buy my package B importer, a bottle of whiskey, that'll be the first First job on the list tomorrow morning. Get it in the mail. Hold true for me. I asked him to bring 300 packages through some of the hottest conditions we've had all spring. And I started to fret. He said, give me a break in, this is what I do. So I let him do what he does. My magic man pulled through. These nukes are gonna pull honey.